third on the afternoon at Chartin is the Magpie Handicap. Let's take a look at the lineup for this event over 1,600 metres. And it's the first of two class fives actually for the day. Mr. Monty, good barrier and a 10 pound claim for Alfred Chan. Lerpa Nash, Alberto Santa's ridden two winners so far for Douglas White. He'll take the ride on this guy as he did on opening day from gate one. Money winner dating went okay first up. Majestic Endeavour, Regency Gem certainly improved when second behind Good Runner's Way. Uh, Doctor's Delight, Glorium, Wicker, Little Fantasy. The Racing Club has Young Glory from gate five and down the bottom winning circle who has cheek pieces off and the blinkers back on. It's his first run for the new stable of Michael Chang. Money, money winner, dating, Doctor's Delight and Glorium are the four that have been doing a lot of their prep up at the Chun Fa Complex. Now, Mr Monty, if he gets moving early under the £10 claim, can probably get this on his own. I think he will be able to with that claim right from Barry number three with uh, Alfie Chan on board. He goes to the front for mine. A little fantasy there with uh, Regan Bayless. He's always pretty honest and he likes to uh, race handy. You've got Doctor's Delight there who should get a nice run uh, down on the trail uh, from gate number six there for uh, Derek Long. Regency Jim uh, last start uh, came from uh, beyond midfield. And at the stage, he's uh, mapped to be just a little bit wide uh, and just on the speed. Anything standing out in track work, Paul? Just a couple of pieces to show here in this particular race. Majestic Endeavour uh, has got a few uh, changes here with the cheek pieces coming off and the tongue tie. So thought I'd show his work. He seems to be going OK, doesn't he? He's, no problems with him. He just does it uh, nice and relaxed. And Young Glory, he just pushed out a little bit in this particular piece of work. But he did respond nicely enough. Did uh, Young Glory. He's had the benefit of a run already this season. Uh, Matthew Chadwick with a lightweight barrier five for him. All right, let's start at the top with Mr Monty who did have quite a lot of runs last season, 15 in total, just one second, a couple of fourths. He is a one-time winner. That win came at Happy Valley over 16.50. But we know if he gets out in front and gets rolling like he was on this occasion, he can run well, and that, as we looked at the speed map, looks the possible option. Yeah, with that £10 claim, good barrier draw, gate three, Elfie Chan. He was run down here in the last 200 metres. Tried to pinch a, a bit of a break at the, at the top of the straight. That's sort of my, my concern again here with him. If uh, he sort of tries to pinch a break, something might be able to get him. That's good runner's yeah. way, chasing him down there as well, uh, finishing behind above. Uh, I think he'll be up front, but he'll probably be there to be shot at in the end. Yeah, no, no definitely. And uh, look, he's, he, this is his go, Class 5. He's only a one-time winner. He's well rated, uh, and he does get that claim. So... Um, he will put, get, catch me if he can, but I think he'll get run down myself. You highlighted Majestic Endeavour in some track work, Paul. Here he is, just refreshing your memory. When he finished third, it was four starts ago, back on the 11th of May, behind Never Better, and it was over 1,400 as opposed to 1,600. He is definitely a Class 5 galloper. That's where his win has come. Casper's taken the cheek pieces and the tongue tie off, but he's drawn awkwardly. Yeah, that's the key in it. Uh, he'll get back, he'll run on. Uh, that's how he did win his race, though. Uh, he's by high chaparral, so the 1,600 metres shouldn't be a problem for him. I know he's had one go at it in the past. Bit of a bunch field there. I've got him in on a minor line. He's got the ability to potentially mm. to sit a little bit handier as well. The speed map had him sitting three wide. He's only one with the crossover nose band on before, so he's got no gear this time round. Well, Regency Gem didn't have a great deal of form coming into his first run for the season, but he got back and closed off strongly under the guidance of Joe Marrera. Let's get Joe's thoughts on that. Joe Regency Gem, he's a horse he'd done a lot of work on over the off-season. First up, was he a bit unlucky not to win that race? I wouldn't say very unlucky. Uh, there was a few things that went on in the race and he just could not overcome the, come the situation. Um, but since then he has done very well. As you would have checked, um, I've been on him in most of his gallops and he seems to be holding his good condition and hopefully he, if he perform on at his best, once again, I think he's going to be right there. This is his right distance? I believe so. Um, unfortunately, the gate is not as good as before, but um, from, from his first run for the season, he kind of indicated to us that he's kind of a little bit of a versatile type of a horse. In the past, he has shown his speed. Uh, in his last run, he has actually didn't jump very well, so he ended up being at the back. But. Um, he nearly, nearly got there, and I think this time it's not just going to be nearly. I think he's going to be able to make it. I must admit, I was, went into that race a little bit sort of pessimistic about his chances because of his, his recent form. But Andrew may mention on the day about the, you know, the, the optimistic around uh, his form line, and it worked out well. He, he did perform well and uh, improved. I think I might go with him this time. 
Yeah, I've gone with him as well. I just thought mm. uh, he's had that run under his belt and he seems to have come on uh, and Charlton seems to uh, suit him. Yeah, give the old class five or the young class five a chance. Um, Doctor's Delight. Now, he's a seven-year-old. Took a long time for him to win. He won two starts ago. It was over money. Marshall, everything fell right. Has he done enough in this trial, do you think, Tom? It's hard to get a line on these uh, straight 1,000-metre trials at Chungfa down the back straight. Uh, there's not a lot of pressure in them. You can see the rider just niggling at him a little bit. Uh, unacceptable performance from him last time out. He dropped right away. Can get a little bit keen in the race from time to time, but... I'm happy enough to leave him out. Yeah, I've left him out. I'm happy to go with horses that have had a run in this race because they've got that superior fitness mm. edge. Yeah, it's a fair point. I wouldn't yeah. be surprised. If he goes around that price, he might be worth throwing into the exotics, Doctor's Delight, if you've uh, got plenty. Speaking of someone who has, Paul, your tips? <laughs> yeah, I wish. Uh, Renzi Jem was just beaten on the bob uh, last time, so we'll stick with him. I thought Wicker wasn't a bad run as well. He seems to have improved uh, in the off-season. Uh, Lab Panache didn't run too badly either in that same race. All those three out of the same race at Majestic Endeavour will get back. I thought he would be running on late. But 6 9 two, five for the Class 5. I'm going with the horses that have got a little bit of residual fitness on their side from that first up run, and uh, Regency Gem comes out on top. Didn't mind the run of Lur Panache. She's always there or thereabouts. Douglas White, Alberto Santa, they teamed up for success on Wednesday night. Mr Monty, and I, I didn't mind the run of Wicker. It was a little bit one pace the last bit, but I'll, I'll throw him into the exotic. 6, 2, 1 and 9. Yeah, I'll play the optimism card this time with uh, Regency Gem and put him on top. I'll give uh, dating a little chance to uh, maybe run an improved race as well.